Good afternoon. My name is John Lai. I'm the CEO of Pet Vivo Holdings. We're traded on the OTCQX under the symbol PETV. The company highlights were focused on an estimated $39 billion companion veterinary care market product sales market. Spring is our flagship product. It's Spring with OsteoCushion technology. It promotes the restoration of joint me mechanics, and it's a product that's naturally derived, and it functions very much like an extracellular matrix. Our second product is Precise PRP. It's the only product that the FDA has reviewed for safety, as well as you don't have to use the centrifuge. There's major advantages. You don't have to draw blood from the host animal. It's right off the shelf, and we guarantee an extreme high platelet count. And so we're saving the vet tremendous amount of time, like half an hour, instead of drawing the blood and running through centrifuge. And we guarantee the highest platelet count in the industry. Well, we actually have five of the top distributors in the world that carry our products. The, the Precise PRP as well as Spring with OsteoCushion technology. And we have two major wholesalers or distribution companies in Clipper and Bedco. We just expanded recently to Mexico as well as the UK, and we anticipate getting the rest of the EU hopefully within the next six to nine months. We have a very strong IP portfolio. There's 12 in the US and about 19 in the foreign patents. FDA pre-marketing approval not required because we did a 145 person human study when we developed this technology. So the market we're addressing right now is osteoarthritis. It's a very common affliction within animals, 80% of all dogs in the United States have a form of osteoarthritis when they reach eight. The current solution is basically looking at the symptoms, which is pain and inflammation. They don't address the root cause of the problem. So steroids is the preferred and number one gold standard recommended product. The problem there is you're masking the pain there's GI tract side effect issues like GI tract bleeding. It does nothing to slow the degrading down. It actually leads to increasing the damage of the cartilage because you're masking the pain. The dog will run and jump in situations it normally would not. And just like with humans, when you're taking NSAIDs, you got potential liver and kidney issues, steroids, hydrogonic acid injections, they're all short term. So we believe spring with also cushion technology is the optimal approach to looking at joint restoration. So it's naturally derived. We're, the, three, the two proteins are collagen and elastin, and heparin is the binding agent. So what happens is when you inject it in, it seeks out areas where cartilage used to be, and it creates an extracellular matrix based on a scaffolding effect. And then the particles migrate to the outer synovium, and it integrates into the damaged area, and the body absorbs it as part of the the nat natural joint. So you restore joint health where the joint creates its own lubrication. Uh, the product lasts about 12 months. The uniqueness here is we were able to get the FDA on the human side to give us a declaration that it's a human medical device. Therefore, we didn't have to do any studies on the animal side of the FDA. It's a natural process, it's, you know, it's natural components. So once it's injected into the body joint, we were able to show there was no elevations of T cells, beta cells, or any chemical change whatsoever. All the sourcing of the materials actually right in the United States, we get secured herd of bovine collagen, well-established IP portfolio. On the bottom, you'll see the clinical trial that we did that got us our human designation as a human medical device. We have injected over 12,000 animals and gotten really powerful results. We have hundreds of case studies actually on our website from performance horses showing the improvements after the injection. Oh, by the way, we're actually the only product that HISA, which is the Horse Integrity Safety Authority that governs thoroughbred racing, they basically prohibited hydrogels being injected into racehorses. Any hydrogel or lubricant injected, it's a six month prohibition from racing. They actually named our product specifically in the rule that spring with osteocushion technology is the only product you can use without that six month prohibition, which was a major surprise to me because they never talked to us. We just saw the ruling. The competitive advantage of our product is that we're addressing the root cause of the problem of degrading the cartilage defects within the synovium. Major price cost advantages 
It's derived from natural materials, ease of application. You can inject multiple joints at once. You don't have any issues of, of using you know, multiple injections. Sold exclusively to veterinary doctors because that's what the FDA requires. So the veterinary doctors like it because they have good profit margins. It's up to them to determine what they want to mark up. So this slide basically gives the comparison of the products. So you can see Spring has major advantages over the competitive product. Uh, Labrella Salentia, which is a product that Zoetis introduced two years ago, they're doing 440 million a year. Now, the, the product requires uh, injections once a month for the life of the animal. And what it's doing is blocking the nerve growth factor, which tells the brain about pain. It does nothing to address the root cause of the problem, which is the wearing away of cartilage and so on. Now, Labrella and Salentia, there's actually like four to five class action suits against their product because they're finding out in older dogs with neurological issues that it's creating strokes and paralyzation. And Adequin, very good product, but requires five, six injections about a, for a month. So in a year, you you're, you're could get up to 18 injections. <laughs> so, so, from a, so we got multiple advantages there. You can go through it all on your own and just do the comparisons and the economic advantages. Ours is typically about $800 for the joint. Labrella is $150 a month for the life of the animal. We have multiple studies showing safety, tolerance. They are done by Ethos, very well-respected organization. Clinical studies, we did a hip dysplasia study. We got really good results, like 77.8% showed greater improvement than three points. So on a scale one to five, we were taking dogs that had the five and we were bringing them down to a level two. Precise PRP, the advantage once again is you don't have to invest in the centrifuge as a vet. You don't have to draw blood and spin it in the centrifuge for about half an hour. Our product is consistent. It's 4 million platelets for, per dose, which is very hot. And it's convenient. It's right off the shelf and you inject. Very effective in reducing inflammation and promoting tissue regeneration and so on. We, we feel our product is more consistent and better. And like I said before, it's the only product that the FDA has reviewed for safety. None of the other PRPs out there have that designation. So we've seen PRP used with stem cells for wound healing, post-surgery healing. So we, we're finding a lot of advantages with Spring itself. Our facility has the highest human medical standards of production, ISO 5, 7, and 8. We can produce up to 100,000 syringes a year, which would mean top-line revenue for us right now in the 50 some million before we have to expand. It's very easy to scale production for us. Very good, strong patents. Also, we have very good trade secrets protocols that are put in place. So my general counsel with the senior partner on IP at Ferrex Environ, second largest law firm in the Midwest, he handled a lot of the majority of the mergers and acquisitions for Medtronic. He wrote the first drug eluding stint patents for Johnson & Johnson. Market overview within the U.S., we're seeing very good growth in pet spend. 2023 was $147 billion, and 2024 was $151 billion. Veterinary care and product is the leading driver of the marketplace, $39.8 billion. 63% of households own dogs and cats, or pets, I should say, in general. About 89 million dogs and 73 million cats. And there's approximately 6.65 million horses. And out of there, there's probably a million horses that actually have osteoarthritis issues. And we're seeing really strong numbers in what a person is willing to spend before they stop treatment for a dog. In 2012, that number was $1,700. In 2024, it was $20,000. And a lot of that is the demographic driver and changes because less and less people are getting married, less and less people are having children, so their pets become their children, so they're willing to spend a lot more. So the market is really ripe for advancements within the industry. There really hasn't been really any advancements other than 
companies saying our NSAIDs have less side effects and so on in the industry, other than Zoetis and us, we're the only two that's really made advancements in the last 10 years. So product pipeline, we got three other categories that we'll be going into beyond the precise PRP and spring. Digital cushion lameness, there's a padding, we inject, we rebuild the padding. Currently, there is no therapy for that. When that padding collapses, they have to put the horse down. Urinary incontinence for, for a canine. Distribution, I said we have MWI, Covetris, a Vetco Clipper, Patterson, so we have all the major distributors. Digital Lania is our strategic partner for our artificial intelligence. It's our agentic swarming technology. So we're basically launching an AI platform that will help the veterinary doctors increase their margins by being way more efficient within the business. Also, the, cu uh, the customer acquisition costs we can reduce by 90% because our AI software can really identify pet owners in their area that can match up with the specialty of that veterinary clinic that they want to specialize in and reach right out and give them specific information and discounts. Uh, and, and the amount of communication and trust built between the veterinary doctor and the pet owner is unparalleled when you look at this. It, it's quite amazing. And we should have that launch within 30 days. We anticipate doing human studies probably starting in nine months to 12 months. And hopefully we can clear the FDA within two to three years. And that's a very large market. I mean, if you look at the joint replacement market in the US, it's 11 billion. Globally is 33 billion a year. So we believe our product once injected into the joint may prolong the life of the joint or hopefully just eliminate the need for a joint replacement. Very strong season management team. Dr. Yabro was the chief surgeon at Dubai Equine for 12 years. So he operated on the most expensive horses and camels in the world. Josh Wilhelm, he was our production head. He was at Medtronic's doing large-scale production for biomaterials, and that's what our product is. Dr. Jeremy Kaplan ranked one of the top 10 scientists in the world in biomaterials. He, he's classified as one of the young superstars. He worked under Bob Langer at MIT. Board of directors, very strong, Mike Eldred. He was president of DECRA, took it from zero to 450 million, exited out to private equity for over 5 billion. He joined my board right away. Spencer Brightup, he was the executive VP of MWI Animal Health, took it to $5 billion a year in animal health sales. As soon as he retired, he jumped on Rob Constantino. He was CFO at Volvo, president of Mitsubishi Motors Credit North America. He's my audit chair. Robert Redilius, Noble Ranchers. He was with McKinsey as managing partner in Asia. Uh, Joe Jasper, he was debt equity financing at Piper and Vermilion Capital. So we got multiple growth drivers. The distribution keeps expanding. We're getting international. We got key opinion leaders talking about our product. We're over a thousand clinics and we just added a partnership with veterinary growth practices, which is 7,300 clinics in the United States. And we're in the process of giving them support and education, and we signed the deal probably two weeks ago. So we're excited about that relationship. Their veterinary doctor had been using our product for over two years, got great success, reached out and said, I think it's time to introduce it to our network. So, so that's really good. Multiple trade shows. We got clinical studies, uh, I think five of them that will be completed here really shortly. And we're expanding the indication for spring and precise PRP, and we're going international. The highlights were focused on a strong growing market within the veterinary field. Spring is a veterinary medical device that offers restoration of the joint mechanics versus other technologies. PRP, plasma, there's major convenience and a much higher platelet count. Major distribution agreements, strong IP portfolio. Our FDA has already de de declared our particles as a human medical veterinary device or human device, which means we don't have to do any FDA process within the animal health side. Very experienced management team and board of directors and strong partnerships and artificial intelligence as we're getting into that market. Thank you.